Tall tales of a waterfall are born in the east end of the Telluride Valley in Telluride, Colorado. The waterfall is Bridal Veil Falls. And when frozen, ice climbers are drawn to the legendary stream. Over three decades, climbers like guidebook author and professional ice climber Jack Roberts have found meaning in ascending Bridal Veil Falls. It's in a beautiful setting. It offers the climber the opportunity to climb just about anywhere on its surface and experience climbing um, in a very unique and special way that becomes more personal than if you're on the rock or if, uh, if they're anywhere else. Although a frozen Bridal Veil Falls offers such a unique experience, the freedom to ascend it is a newly acquired privilege. We're required to stay on the county road and not trespass onto uh, adjoining properties. And then you're required to stay on the main falls or within 15 feet of either side of the main falls. For many, many years, ice climbers uh, basically trespassed and went up there and illegally climbed it. And Many climbers or several climbers experienced some games of cops and robbers when uh, the uh, local sheriff maybe came in to kick them off the climb. The only reason why this will stay open is if everyone plays by these rules that ultimately aren't that restrictive. This is not the Array Ice Park. This is uh, you know, a high alpine climb that's it's closer to a town. I would say number one, make sure you do not underestimate the difficulty of the climb and the changing conditions that, that come with that. Climb. With this access, changes have been brought about in the experience of climbing Bridal Veil. The main thing is to be concerned about safety of the climbers and not loving the climb to death. I know we had over 300 climbers hit it in 94-95 the first year it, it opened. Ice is constantly changing, so you never know what's going to come down above you, and if you're smart, you're, you're going to climb with nobody above you. Jack and I went to climb it and found it less appealing with others above and backed off. As a climber, Bridal Veil tugs at your soul. I had to return. This time, I came back with another partner, Don Glantz, a professional competition ice climber got these crampons, my tools, I just, I feel like I look like a badass. Why am I out here doing Bridal Veil Falls today? Because this is one of the uh, classic climbs here in Colorado. For sure, this was a test piece when it was put up back in the day. Um, to me, today, it's still a test piece. This is not something that uh, people take lightly, and this is still a full-on climb for, for what it is. The climbing is unique. Few waterfall ice climbs are as sustained and tricky as Bridal Veil Falls. Even protecting yourself from a fall is steely and demands focused concentration. There's nothing more fun than placing pro, let me tell you. Especially with hundreds of feet of exposure nipping at your heels. Hopping out feels so incredible. Summer, fall, winter, spring, <laughs> no matter what season, Grotto Vale Falls is one waterfall never to forget. <laughs> I'm Ben Clark, you've been watching Plum TV, happy climbing. <laughs>